The people of Ireland, last Concola, are not fools. They recognise political trickery when they see it. And today, in the supposed concessions and water charges, they will recognise a transparent manoeuvre to get Fine Gael and Labour passed the next general election without being politically annihilated. It simply won't work. People have not turned out in their hundreds of thousands in October and November on the streets of Ireland demanding the abolition of water charges to be conned by this poisoned carrot. People have not been turning out in their hundreds to public meetings, to street meetings, to events like protests against water meters, only to be assuaged by transparent political trickery. People are no fools. They understand that the cap charge announced here today will rocket when it suits any establishment government of the future. They understand the agenda. The water charge is to partly fill the black hole left by billions of taxpayers' funds being transferred to the bankers and bondholders of Europe to save the European financial markets system. Uh, on, 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 on foot of the crisis of their system for which our people have no responsibility. And to do that, the government proposes to gouge eventually 1.2 billion from the pockets of ordinary people in parallel to the central taxation which they pay directly at the present time and which, which water charges have been maintained and delivered for generations in this country. And they understand that the poisoned carrot so-called concessions will quickly go to 500 and 1,000 euro per household uh, once the pressure passes off. Therefore, the campaign for the abolition of the water charges continues. Now, what incredible contortions the government is executing to establish this principle of a bankers and bondholders water tax. In April, in July and in October of next year, the government will be looking for 40 euro or 65 euro of, house, of, of, of households. And then in September, from September, they will send, they say, 100 euro back to the same households. Imagine the incredible bureaucracy and wasted labour to execute this idiotic circular maze. Truly, this is Alice in Wonderland. Alice rather in, in, in Joan and Enderland or Blunderland might be more uh, 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 apt. Those workers that will be tied up in knots doing that, hundreds of them would be much better off sourcing homes for the people made homeless by rack-renting landlords and the failure of the government to have any social housing. I say to ordinary people out there, the hundreds of thousands, the majority who want to fight this, if you have already registered, in April you will be sent a bill for 40 euro or 65 euro. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain in order to bring about the end of this water charges by engaging in a nationwide boycott. Just as in the 1990s, a mass boycott and political pressure forced the abolition by Fine Gael and Labour of the hated water charges at that stage. A mass refusal to pay the water bill in April of next year will leave this government utterly exposed as a government that has no democratic credibility, that is suspended in mid-air and will leave the water charges regimes in tatters and unimplementable. And by the way, Minister, you said, Minister, in a press conference tonight, hear this, you said that if people were taken to court by Irish Water, their credit, it would affect their credit rating. False. The Irish Credit Bureau, which is the agency of the bank, said only a few days ago that unpaid water charges have no bearing whatsoever on people's credit rating. I hope you will correct that now. Now, to the uh, add to the rack-renting torture that so many of our people as private tenants are subjected to, the government now appoints landlords to rob the tenant's deposit. 
this is breathtaking. One of the most vulnerable groups in our society, those depending on private landlords, are to be subjected to further robbery with the landlord as the agent. Some legacy that is for a Labour Minister to leave behind. That legislation, I guarantee you, will be bitterly opposed and I appeal to tenants, don't be intimidated. Join the anti-water charges campaign. Join the homeowners, ordinary people who will be uh, 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 boycotting and uh, uh, fighting to bring down this uh, uh, charge. The whole water charges saga has been characterised by the most incredible mendacity and deceit by Fine Gael and Labour. Conservation was the catch cry. Turn off your taps, said the Taoiseach passionately a few weeks ago. Use less, says the Taoiseach passionately a few weeks ago. Conservation has now disappeared. It's nowhere to be seen. It's been dropped without ceremony. For 20 years we have put forward serious conservation proposals, water saving measures that have never been taken up. In Denmark it's such water saving uh, 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 implementation, retrofitting homes that has uh, 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 the, the, the less usage of water there. Now the Tarnished has the audacity to come in here tonight and to continue the media smear of decent residents in communities like West Tala hit by years of austerity. Among the ordinary women who organized the protest against the water charges when she visited, and those women administered the food bank from the same building that she was visiting. Is it any wonder that people would be angry? But any people's movement from 1913 on has been met by the usual pathetic smears of sinister forces and fringe elements leading so-called the stupid mob by the nose as the government and the media would have it. Uh, James Connolly answered that much more eloquently than I could ever uh, uh, could. What undermines democracy in this country is establishment political parties lying through their teeth to ordinary people at election time. So we have the Tarnishte with a Tesco ad in one hand promising no Fine Gael water charges and then in the other hand an application form to join a Fine Gael government with water charges. Thank you, Is Deputy. it any wonder that the Labour Party was eviscerated in Dublin West and in Dublin South West in the recent by-elections when they deceived you. an entire people in this callous fashion? Lastly, I'll ask you, the campaign for the abolition of this bankers and bondholders water tax will continue without let up. If it is still there, it will be a massive issue in the next general election. You will continue to push it at your peril. And the Labour Party in particular will be lucky if it doesn't evaporate uh, and disappear altogether if it continues this breach uh, uh, against the interests of ordinary working class people.